Kizza from Kesbar Brewery. Happy beer fun for Friday. Today's actually Thursday, but I'm not going to get a chance to do this tomorrow, so here we go. Cheers. That's one of my mate's amber ales. That's actually bloody nice. Wow. That's all I can say. Wow. Pity it's only in a stubby. So, what's been happening? Uh, cracked the shits with the mango beer. Now, it's been sitting at one degree Celsius in the fermentation fridge for about a week and a bit. A week and three days. So, it's still not clearing. So, instead of going out and buying finnings or finings or whatever you want to call them, I use some gelatin, powdered gelatin. So I mixed it up in about 200 ml of water, uh, pasteurized it and tipped it in. And I'm going to give you a look at this because I only did it about an hour ago. So we'll go over to the fermentation fridge. Can you see it all clumping up? Yeah, that's right. My firm man of the lids is just glad wrap and a rubber band. There's no need to really use the lids, but I've been using glad wrap and a rubber band for a lid for about two years because I broke my lid on my little fermenter there, and I only ever use it as a secondary because I usually ferment in the cubes and usually the IPAs are a darker beer and I don't really care if they're not clear because it's only me drinking it but uh, this one is going to get sent a couple of places in Australia a couple in New Zealand and uh, a couple of guys are lucky I might even get some over to America so depending on the cost to send it over there so I've heard sending to New Zealand for three tallies or three stubbies, sorry, so three thirty three three thirty mil bottles cost about forty bucks, so it's not cheap. But uh, hopefully that works out and by the looks of it it's going to, so it's already started to all clump together and uh, hopefully it starts sinking out. And then I'll have a nice clear beer, I can keg it and uh, start drinking it. I'm going to bottle it straight out of the keg, so straight out the tap into the bottle. Um, I'm actually going to have to go and get a capper. I might have to uh, hit someone up to borrow theirs. So, uh, might as well keep it short. Uh, Jay Elder, thanks for the shout out mate. You're, uh, you're a bit higher gravity than you're expecting on your brew day, eh? Um, Tiny, looks like you had fun the other weekend, mate. Uh, thanks to all my subscribers. Check the guys out and down in the description. They're all members of Bubbles and Chalk. They all have YouTube channels. They all have videos up. So check those guys out. Send them some love. And uh, we shall see you next time on Kes Barbary.